Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how you can create a flyer like this and if you watch the full video, I'll give you the URL to download this file for free. Okay, let's get started. First I'll click file, new, I made the flyer US paper size 8.5 into 11 inch and 300 pixel per inch for resolution. This is the recommended resolution for print design and CMYK is the definitely choice for print design. I now can click OK but before I make the artboard I have to add extra area for bleed. I will make it 75 so I added 0.25 inch now I'll click OK to add the ruler there are many ways but I'll show you the easy way choose the rectangle tool click here press 8.5 inch into 11 inch this is our print size I'll choose the selection tool and click Ctrl A command A in Mac I'll now I see this alignment tool if you are in different tool you won't see the alignment tool unless you select the selection tool now I see the alignment tool I'll central align in horizontally and vertically I'll click Ctrl D, Command D on Mac to deselect. Now I'll drag the ruler. Delete the layer. Now I have to add the safe area mark. I use the same method 8 inch, 10.5 inch. So 2.5 from every side. I'll delete the layer now I have the artboard ready first I'll bring the image this image I can bring this image in two way I'll just drag it here and click this tick button or press enter key in your keyboard I can bring this image in different way file place go to this your folder and select the image place you can increase and decrease the image size by clicking on the corner and dragging it if you select shift in your keyboard the image will not be stressed it will uh, increase and decrease proportionately i will drag it up and click ok now i'll draw this background I can do it easily with rectangle tool if you press and hold you will see this tool and I'll drag here I have to change the background color you can double click here and choose a darker color or use color picker to choose color I'll click OK now I have to make this color background green I'll use the same tool to make it once you draw it and click space button in your keyboard you will be able to move it and place it in your preferred area I just place it here now I have to make the corner round like this if you are in Photoshop CC you will see this option if you click and drag the corner will be round okay I'll delete this but if you are in older version of Photoshop, you have to use this rounded rectangle tool. You see the corner is rounded. You can increase the radius by clicking increasing the radius size. I'll use 50 pixel. Okay, perfect. In case if you are not satisfied with the size, just select the direct selection tool. Direct selection tool and choose the upper corners and use your keyboard upper arrow key to increase the size now I will follow the same tool to make the distort the bottom area I'll use bottom to corner and use my keyboard 
left and right arrow key I have to add this shadow okay I have to add this shadow I can add this shadow in two way first option is double clicking on the layer and drop shadow use normal and choose a bit darker color than the original color and you can control the distance the other way is press the option or alt button and click here you see once i click the option button the cursor changed which means i am duplicating and click and drag you will see i have created a duplicate layer you can duplicate in another way you see there is a new duplicate i'll change the background color and will give a bit little darker color and we'll use keyboard down arrow key you see there is a new layer for the shadow now you know how to create shadow you can increase the shadow width using your left and right arrow key now i have to add this white background you can draw same background or copy this layer use option or alt and resize make it white by double clicking and change the color drag it down to send it back i have to use this logo i'll type logo and choose a darker color i'll increase the font size i use demon font okay i'll increase the text color i'll use my keyboard upper or down arrow key to adjust it i'll give it now i have to add this text sample demo text i'll change the font to better i'll decrease the font size i'll make them uppercase i'll increase the line height reduce the font size for the second line and again reduce the control a to select all the font and choose the darker color okay now i have to add this text i'll use this website for demo text it's lipsum.com i'll choose press t in my keyboard or choose this type tool and okay i'll decrease the font size change the color i used the big john font here i'll use big big john okay now i have to draw this icon you can get this this type of icon from online for free or you can draw it like me there is many way you can draw it but i'll show you the easy way draw select the ellipse tool and draw an eclipse since disable the fill color give it a stroke color increase the stroke size and add few more anchor like this to add anchor i'll choose this add anchor pen tool once you go to this area you will see there is a plus icon in the cursor and i'll click here now i'll delete the upper anchors i'll use the direct selection to select and press delete in my keyboard you can use another way the delete anchor button click you see there is a minus icon and again there is a minus icon now the second part this icon i'll follow the same way i'm combining both layer i'll take new layer and i draw it give stroke color fill color increase the stroke size i'll use the direct selection tool to select the bottom corner and delete it 
this is how I create arrow I decrease the size okay this icon is not same as this one this corner are more rounded but these are sharp I'll make this corner rounded to make this corner round I'll select both layer and choose this rectangle and click here for the caps I'll make rounded caps now you see they are rounded now I have to add this object I'll use the same tool I'll give a fill color white uh, fill color this fill color and white stroke color decrease the stroke size make the corner rounded okay now I'll rotate them a bit now I'll rotate it a bit I'll click ctrl T in my keyboard and rotate it I have to add a background like this I'll use the same tool to draw a background I'll disable the stroke color I'll change the fill color by double clicking and choose this color I'll drag it down I'll make the corner rounded now you see we have this maybe you can drag it up okay you can give different color like this and the logo is in the same color you see when I click on the logo the logo layer is selected when I click here the this layer is selected for this option you have to click auto select and choose layer then you will be able to select automatically any targeted layer once you click on the layer the layer will be selected you see I have click on this layer I have click on this layer it's automatically selected now I have to add this graphic I'll use the same tool I'll turn off the stroke color I'll use direct selection tool again I'll click on the right arrow key I'll make it yellow okay now it's time to add this text I'll use I'll type the text here e -M -O -T -X second line okay I'll click dark color and change the font to bitter decrease the font size increase the line height next line is large demo I can increase the font size here and by clicking the comment key in my keyboard and just drag it like this okay I'll decrease the line height here too now this line I'll copy this line I'll paste it here you can use this font it's called black jack regular I'll decrease a bit we can move all the design element you have to press the shift button in your keyboard and then click click on it 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 now all the layers selected and now use your upper arrow key to move it okay I'll use this text control C I'll paste it here control V I can increase them control T and like this and same text this week I'll use this text I copy this text from this website I'll change the text color 
I'll increase the font size I'll make 24 I'll use these texts as demo text Ctrl C Comment C on Mac Ctrl V Ctrl C Ctrl V Okay I'll decrease it to 14 Ctrl A Comment A on Mac Okay Now I'll add this tick mark You can draw it with pen tool Or you can select this custom shape from the drop down menu you can click this shape you can get more shape from here objects ornaments I'll draw the tick mark choose blue color green color I'll click on it you see the duplicate I'll, I'll press the option button in my Mac or alt button in windows and drag it you will see new copy created again option click and drag okay i'll make it regular font okay i missed this section i'll copy a drop paragraph I'll click and drag Ctrl V Ctrl A I'll select 11 as the text size and 14 as the line spacing I'll drag it up drag it up I can drag it up to make some room okay now this area we can duplicate these texts select all these texts and right click duplicate New. we can type it for now i just made duplicate so i can save time i'll drag it i'll drag it here i'll drag it i think this is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for your kind patterns watching whole this video uh, enjoy the free download thank you for watching please subscribe for the upcoming videos and free downloads thank you so much